Now, with our gun training demo, I'm going to show you three different stances. And what's nice about this is we can uh, learn two stances and then combine the two for an even better stance. And what we have is the weaver stance, the isosceles stance, and then the combination of the two stances. The weaver stance is a shooting technique for handguns. It was developed by the Los Angeles County Deputy Sheriff Jack Weaver during the freestyle pistol competition in the Southern California during the late 1950s, same time these, rape, these phones were made. What a coincidence. The isosceles shooting stance is a shooting technique for handguns as well. It became popular in the 1980s when Brian Anos and Rob Latham started using it to win International Practical Shooting Confederation competitions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I trained to survive on the streets, not to win competitions, although I still compete. With that said, we go to the combination stance. This is the stance I use because it's the best. It's the best of both worlds. With the accuracy of the isosceles, I use the upper portion of that stance. But for the agility, I use the weaver, the lower portion of the stance. And together, I become fast, agile, and accurate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you these three now. And I'm going to make some noise moving this mic, and hopefully it'll stay up here. And it's okay. What we have here is my trusty 1911. So what we're going to do is we're going to check to make sure it's not loaded. Magazine is out. Slide lock to the rear, chamber's clear, magazine well is clear. This weapon is clear. The first stance I told you about was the weaver stance, and that's what I used to do for a long time. And I shot very well, but when you see other tricks and tips that you can learn, you get better. I'm a left-handed shooter. So, my right leg is going to be a little bit forward. I'm almost like in a boxing stance, okay? My left arm is my dominant arm. I'm extending it out, not to a lock position. What I do is I normally bring it out and slack it off just a hair. It's like a shock absorber. My right arm is bent as it comes up to the, the handgun. I put my second hand on the gun. My right arm is bent, and I'm leaning into the shot. That's the weaver stance. The isosceles stance is more squared off to the threat. Feet are shoulder width apart, chest and shoulder square to the threat. It's a progressively forward position. I'm kind of leaning forward. My arms, if you can see in the video here, Make an isosceles triangle. Both hands on the gun. This side straight. This side straight. Isosceles triangle. And I look like this. The problem with this one is I feel like a sumo wrestler. All right? <laughs> I, can't, I don't have much mobility or agility. So what I've done, after my training and, and learning from other people, I've combined it to the combat style uh, stance, which is a combination of the two. I maintain my boxing stance or the weaver stance but I maintain the isosceles upper so I've got the agility I can run kick do whatever I've got to do to get out of the way but I maintain the accuracy of the isosceles upper portion of the body now let's explain another reason why I believe the isosceles upper is better than the weaver upper if you're looking in the video and I'm doing a weaver stance when I shoot this weapon depending on how good I am, will determine how quick the second shot will be and how tight it will be to the first shot. When I shoot, this is what's going to happen if I just exaggerate it. Watch the video. When I shoot, the arm breaks to the weak side. It arcs. See the arc? So depending on how good I shoot will determine where the second shot is. So if I shoot the first time once and I'm really good, the second shot should be right there. If I'm bad, boom, I'm going on the arc, boom. I could potentially miss the individual depending on how bad my arc is getting or my shot pla placement won't be as good because it's arcing if I use the isosceles upper the recall becomes more elliptical it's, it's when I'm shooting it comes up and I come back down to position up back down to position I'm not arcing it's up and down up and down so if I don't hit the bullseye I'm probably gonna hit above the bullseye or below the bullseye as compared to shooting to the left or to the right of the bullseye so those are three stances I see a lot of people do the weaver I see a lot of people do isosceles and I'm teaching more and more people how to combine the two for much more accurate shooting I cannot tell you how much it improved my shooting it gets the shot groups in tight I'm just I can shoot on the run multiple targets, all sorts of things because the agility and the flexibility it gives me, but with the accuracy.
that doesn't mean you don't have to learn how to shoot one hand and alternate hands. You got to learn how to do that too. And that's for another day and for another radio show and another training seminar.